Now we come on the mechanism of gene action. How the genes they act, how they perform their functions. What are the functions of the genes basically? Replicate itself, we call it replication, making its own copies. It occur during the cell cycle, uh, the synthesis phase of cell cycle, when before division, before cell division, because we know that after mitosis, the cell, one cell, the parent cell will be divided into two daughter cells. And the daughter cells should have an equal quantity of DNA as it was present in their parents. So, before entering into the division phase, the and DNA, the genetic material have to replicate themselves, make the, their own copies which have um, same structure and um, quantity. So, one function is replication. The other function is uh, transferring the information or encoding the information present, present in them um, in the form of proteins. And uh, this, uh, uh, this function of the uh, DNA, it performs it by two processes um, going, side, going um, uh, one by one. One is called the transcription. Transcription is actually um, making an RNA molecule out of a DNA molecule. Uh, that is, DNA molecule act as a template. With the help of that, a complementary strand of RNA is produced. Then, this RNA in the eukaryotes have to go out of the nucleus and uh, encode for a protein. Protein may make the hairs, uh, proteins may make the uh, uh, our nails, proteins may make any of the cellular structure, maybe a membrane protein, maybe an enzyme or anything. Uh, so this process from RNA to protein is called the translation. So, this is another function of DNA that is transcription, making an RNA molecule and translation, making uh, a protein from an RNA. The replication is the doubling of DNA. Replication occur in a specific time when the cell have to divide. But the transcription and translation, these are the ongoing processes all the time occurring in the cell. Whenever cell need to make an enzyme, cell need to make um, uh, any of its structures, a receptor or um, anything, any structural part, it have to go by the process of transcription and translation. Then there is another related term called genetic code or codon. Three nucleotides in the DNA codes for an amino acid. As we know that proteins consist of amino acids. Amino acids are the uh, basic units of proteins. Um, amino acids join together to make proteins. Um, and three nucleotides combine together codes for an amino acid. We call this genetic code or codon. So, a codon is a triplet code that codes that uh, instruct the production of an, uh, or we can say attachment of an amino acid to a peptide chain. Then transcription, if just we have a brief look on our diagram, this describes that transcription is from DNA to an RNA molecule. This particular RNA molecule is called a messenger RNA. So, DNA to messenger RNA is called transcription. Then messenger RNA to protein is called translation. That is, the language of DNA is translated by the messenger RNA into the protein. We call it central dogma of molecular biology or molecular genetics. Central dogma means uh, that there is uh, in, in any field of study, we have a central theory. We have a central idea around which all of that science revolves. This is the central dogma of molecular biology or uh, genetics that DNA codes for RNA, transcription, RNA codes for protein, translation.